it's Game 5 in the Super Mega Baseball Electro Sports Baseball League and uh, the winless Bulldozer Power will be looking to get their season underway against the Grunt Auto Group where we'll be facing off against Kojak Misteron who was signed by Grunt in the off-season. Quite a few of our players are struggling under the mental pressures of not playing very well and we'll be hoping for a respectable performance to try and turn things around. Speaking of which, here's Cindy Vapic. She's tense right now and she's only batting 2-1-4 for the season. And uh, we're just going to we're going to get back to our old ways of soaking up some pitches. Because that's going to work for us. Uh, Emu Sop is the starting pitcher. And uh, that's three balls, one strike. And Cindy gets a walk. There you go. See, bit of patience. Uh, Jemima Hertz has been moved up the batting order. Uh, it, I figured out what the, in, the uh, issue was. We'll see how this is, gets larger on the outside. That's because she is better at outside pitches. Yeah. Yeah, she's a, she's a stronger batter against outside pitches and gets a base hit there because that one was looking lovely. Uh, so runners now first and second. All those are power. Looking pretty good so far. Here's Lynn Mephisto having a pretty good season so far, actually, with uh, 353 batting average. And that's, that's all right. Uh, but she's not going to be any rush here. No hurry at all. Uh, we want to take this guy's arm out as quickly as possible. Strike one, ball two. And uh, is, is Lynn in the zone? Well, that's ball three. Come on, man. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, that's fine. This is this one's for all the marbles. Struck out. Oh, well, that's the chances you take. Here's Ulysses' failure. Speaking of uh, of players with a disaster, his uh, his mood is holding robust despite him batting under 200 so far this year. Um, but that that doesn't mean that he isn't uh, he isn't poised to light us up. Which he may well be, but that's strike two. Come on, come on. All right, ball two, strike two, failure. Not being suckered easy. That one was a little high, but he's got some steam on it. Not enough, though. And that one will be caught out in right fields by uh, Cookie Peaches Wallace. All right, okay, two outs, two runners on. Capsicum Disco, perhaps slightly surprising, given that she's a C-rated player, but she's been reliable for us so far. Uh, even if we haven't managed to achieve very much, it's going to be close, but no good. And that's the side retired, but we've got a we got a hit in there, and a walk. We used up a fair few uh, a fair few arm throw. It wasn't great. All right, okay, it just wasn't great. Uh, speaking of Cocky Peaches Wallace, she's first up to bat for the Grunt Auto Group, and it's Des Eyeliner who's going to be leading the charge for us today. And we're, we're going to want him to be as efficient as possible because that will be helpful. Strike to beautiful pitch, Des. Oh, dear me. What a great pitch. And that one's not bad either. That one's gone straight to Disco, who will trot it back to first base, and that's out number one. Uh, here's Danny Diet, uh, who is playing left field for us today. He looks rather surprised in his baseball card. Actually, he looks quite surprised when he sat there masticating. That's masticating. Yeah. Strike one, Des still on the money, uh, and uh, and that's oh look at that, that's a flipping demon move. Uh, yeah, all right, Des, are you going to get him? Uh, I think we'd go for you know let's get the fielders to do the job. Cindy couldn't quite get there. Zoltan is going to retrieve that from centre field and the throw to second. All right, maybe the fielders weren't going to do it. Well, he he put it into a really difficult place. Here's, here's Tommy Money. With uh, a questionable piece of facial furniture going on. Uh, but uh, but that's not going to phase the likes of Big Des. Is he big? He is big. But what about Big Steve? Big Steve isn't so big anymore. Don't you remember? He's, he's been on a diet. Oh, yeah. No, and that's fair. And that's in a very difficult position. They're going to try and get to home. But Lynn's going to go for the wrong throw. There you go. And there it is. There's their first run. Unfortunate. I mean, talk about sticking it in a difficult place. And here's the former bulldozer power first baseman, Kojak Misteron, who's uh, in a... Well, he's a, he's a very good player. <laughs> like that. See? See? Uh, it's too soon for me to be tilted. So this is just the team playing well. And, uh, and bulldozer power go behind by two runs already. 
Only one out, still in the first inning. Uh, we've got our, our grade A pitcher. I just, I, <laughs> just, no, keep it calm, play the game. All right. Bernadette mistakes, makes one. And that's going to give up an easy, uh, an easy third base there. Runners now at the corners. It wasn't a run, I suppose that's something. Here's Linda Van Spackle, second baseman. Yeah, they're, they're just hitting it well. Cindy, never, no, negative for Cindy. And, uh, and Zoltan's going to, oh, he's going to have to work for it. Uh, they're going to get two runs off this one. Flip the neck. They are lighting us up here in the first inning. That's all right. I'm not, uh, I'm not despondent. I'm not despondent. Yeah. Uh, the difficulty is all coming from our fielding sides. I mean, uh, batting wasn't too bad. The pitching's pretty good. It's, uh, it's just coming down to uh, uh, fielding not really working for us. That one's got a disco. Who will trot it over the first? And that's out number two. Okay, well, that's something. Uh, here's uh, Margaret Ann Sprinkles, the catcher. All right, Maggie, what you uh, what are you feeling like today? Now, the team are coming in with... Uh, well, we've got confidence problems. They've got a bit of a confidence boost because uh, right now, uh, Grunt Auto Group are a three and one team. But even so, we should be a smidge more competitive than we have been so far. It's only the first thing. It's only the first thing. It's only the first thing. There you go. Take the easy out. There we go. Get back to the fundamentals. Uh, so at the end of one, it is four to Grunt Auto Group, zero to Bulldozer Power. Everything for us to do. We'll get there. Here's Zoltan. And like failure, he's our second big hitter who is having a shocking start to the year. Uh, only 143 batted in so far, the uh, batting average so far. And, uh, well, we're, we're going to need to turn that around, aren't we? Yep. Or he can have a walk. Uh, that's ball three. And uh, four in a row, and Zoltan will stride manfully out to first base. Now, in, uh, in terms of unlikely bright spots, here's Steve Murray. Uh, probably our best batter so far this year. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. He just is. That's ball two. This has got to be affecting Sop's confidence, uh, which I mean, it sounds like a, a novel that you were forced to read in school. That's not going to work though. And Big Steve, as much as he's got more speed than he's ever had before, coughs up a double play. Well, that's a good omen. No, it really is. Uh, Steve Morrie coughing up a double play. That's what we're used to, and we're used to winning. Uh, so that will give us Bernadette Mistakes, who's been unremarkable so far this year. But it's okay. It's okay. Strike two. All right, come on. Possibly shouldn't have swung at that one, but she might live. No, wait, no, hang on. No, I'm wrong. Okay. All right, uh, another scoreless there. Well, let's see if we can't put in a defensive uh, format here. Is uh, is Sop the pitcher? He's uh, he's not got a batting average so far this year, but he's a flipping out. Look at that! Off the first pitch, not waiting for anything at all, and he'll get a double. I mean, that's a dynamite hit. <laughs> I'd love a hit like that. Ever? That's just, that is, that's a great hit. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. Uh, we're not downhearted, no. We're a little bit confused as to uh, as to why we're struggling so much this year, but even so, we're not downhearted. And maybe, maybe they have changed the law with regard to the accuracy of pitching. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be interesting. Because historically, uh, I set the target and then I just fling it wherever as long as I'm as long as I'm keeping it within the uh, uh, within the strike zone. But flipping heck, another one of those. Ruddy Nora. Um, but uh, I think it might be penalising me for not hitting that target. Whereas historically, it didn't. Are you hypothesising? Well, there have been updates. Well, if they have, they have ruined the game. Oh, come on, Steve. Keep hold of it. I know it was a terrible pitch, but even so, keep try and, try and keep your mitts on it. All right, there you go. See, normally, I'd call that... You know, perfectly reasonable. Oh, hey, well, that was close. Uh, Des there nearly dropping the ball, and that would have given up um, uh, a base hit that we shouldn't have given up. All right, well, look, let's just try some regular on-target stuff and see if it goes any better. Obviously, against Kojak, you're going to have to do a bit better than that, Zoltan. 
It's off the ground, and uh, and that's Kojak knocking up a triple against her former teammates. Ooh. Oh no, it means I'm going to have to learn how to pitch. Yeah, see that? Boom! Right down the middle. Okay. All right. This one. Now, yeah, you see, see, I've I've been allowed. I've been getting away with bad pitching for a multitude of seasons. No, surely you wouldn't change that. Surely you wouldn't. No, I think it might have been a bug, you know. Anyway, there's a striker. All right, well, no, that's the kind of thing that I'm used to. Uh, maybe we shouldn't jump to conclusions. Maybe we should jump to conclusions. Maybe conclusions is all we have left for us. Cindy. Booyah. Okay, all right, okay. Giving up another three. No, mood is still fine. Just thanks for asking. Uh, everything's, everything's still okay here. And his uh, Des Eyeliner uh, pitcher. Well, Des has been surprising That's in the past when it comes to his turn at bat. Uh, <laughs> that's that's pretty lovely. Uh, trickles a real gentle hit there between the legs of the pitcher and manages to get himself a base hit. Is Cindy Vapid walked first time around? She could really do with a with a you know a lightning banger uh, out over the fence. That would be super. It's technical terminology. Light, lightning banger. You can look it up. It's on Wikipedia. No, All right, ball two, strike one. Come on, Cindy. Lightning banger. Ball three. I don't mind you walking again, but I'd rather you. I'd rather the Three. aforementioned banger of lightning. All right, full count. It's the Cindy Vapid shot, everybody. Up to centre field, and she'll make her base. Uh, well, once again, runners first and second. Jemima Hurt's got a single first time around. She's good against the outside pitches. All right, are they going to strategic pitch against her? Well, it, it looks like he might be trying to. Oh, that one was that one was right where I wanted it, but she swung at something a bit high. Uh, that's going to be trouble. But we do have a runner in scoring position. It cost us one player, uh, but we've got a we've got a, we've got a potential run here, friends. Uh, just embrace that it's, it could happen for us. No, Lynn. No, you got desperate. Lynn Mephisto there. Yeah, I probably could have, should have taken home there. Um, yeah, popping that one skyward. Don't take the first offer. All right, don't take it. You've got to wait until they've uh, they've had to had to negotiate. Uh, this is failure. Now would be his time to shine. That is not it. Uh, ball two, strike one. Come on, Faye. Come on, come on, come on. That's not bad, but it's not long enough, and that's going to be out. Okay. There are signs of life from the offense, but not enough of them. And uh, here comes Dez. Now, despite having given up seven runs already, Dez has only pitched 32 so far. So in terms of efficiency, he's not too bad. Uh, in terms of any time someone does get a hit, they are putting them into the most awkward places imaginable. But that's because they keep getting hits, you see. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. There you go. There's a Des Island strikeout, and that's what we like to see. And you, son, can go and sit down and shut your face. Here's Margaret Ann Sprinkles. Uh, the catcher. And, uh, see what she's made of. Well, she's not made of completely stupid. That's why she didn't swing at that one. All right, that one's fouled off. Do the same again, Des. They won't expect that. Usually you mix and match. That's a nice pitch. All right, time to wheel out the four key. That'll do. That one's gone straight to Disco, who will tie it up at uh, first. And here's Emu Sot, the pitcher. They are keeping him in. Well, you would do, uh, given that so far he's uh, he, he has yet to be scored upon. Ruddy Norris, another flipping good hit there from the pitcher. What is this guy? He's cheating. He's going for three, and he's going to get it as well. That's, especially since we just dropped that one. Oh, flame heck. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. We could do with some. We could do with some classic eyeliner here. Yeah. Is that classic eyeliner? It's good enough. It's a strike, and that's good enough. All right. So that's that's another strike and that's good enough all right uh, forky out the strike zone let's try it that's too far out the strike oh she's strung at it anyway well all right 
finish her. And we managed to come away without conceding another run. And that's it. That's the tipping point. Now we're going. Here's Capsicum. Still batting 400 this year. Uh, but uh, that's quite a don't take the first offer. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just eager. Eager to get things underway. You don't have to be eager. Let this clown wear his arm out. And then we'll sting him for a couple of runs before they decide to pull him. All right, full count there. Three and two. Let's go. It's low. And Disco gets a walk. That's why we're patient. Uh, here's Zoltan. Walked his first time around. But we uh, we do need the the uh, the Zoltan sky shot uh, from, this, from this at bats. Sky shot from Zoltan. Available in all good stores. Ball three. Well, they, they, they don't seem to be too keen on throwing him something legal. And that looks promising. It's got the steam. It's not got the steam. It bounced off the back wall. I thought it had the steam. But that's actually quite a high back wall, which is why we didn't get over it. And what should have been a minimum of a, of a double there, uh, I assumed was leaving the stadium. So I didn't bother telling anyone to run. Uh, so it ended up being a single. And that gives us Steve Morrie to try and turn this into something. Okay. All right. Ball one, strike one. Steve, wait them out. Yep. That's ball two. That's not bad. Is it though? No, that's not bad. Bases are loaded. I possibly could have squeaked one in there, but I'm playing it just a little bit conservative here. Uh, just to try and avoid stupid. And here's Bernie mistakes. Alright. She can't get all three. Uh, she can't get all three outs in one go, can she? That's going to be close. It's not close. All right, everybody go. Everybody go. Everybody go. All right, okay. Well, we've got two outs, but I've got a run. I'll take it. I'll take it. Because you can't, you can't make any guarantees. There's Des Eyeliner. We've got a runner in scoring position. If uh, We'll call that a sacrifice. We'll call that you shouldn't have run everyone. Same thing. Yeah, if you say so. Uh, right, come on, Des. Just a base hit will do, love. There you go. That's not it. Nope, but we've got a run. Bulldozer Power have opened their scoring book for the day. And I'll take I'll take victories where I can find them. Here's Danny Diet. He's two for two today. He's got a double, a single. He's batted in a couple of runs. He's feeling lively and, uh, and looking looking forward to whatever Des is going to throw at him this time. Because so far, he's not been troubled by any of it. Uh, but he's popped that one up. Can Lynn make it there in time? It's very unlikely. Nope. Okay, that one's gone foul. Two strikes. Desmond, fork it. Desmond forks it, and that's one, that one pops off foul, which is not what we want to see at all. But we hate those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep chucking them inside, Des. They hate that. Yeah, but that's, that's why they keep fouling them off. All right, chuck this one out wide. That one swung in too far. It wasn't a good pick. Oh, dear, here we go. We're into this now, are we? All right. Uh, up, up and away. Well, that could go anywhere. No, he's fouled that one off as well. Try the same thing. Try and be on target. That's the ticket. And that one's gone north. Someone get underneath it. I don't care who. And that's out number one. Well, it took our time, but we got it. Uh, here's Tommy Money. He's locked in. Oh, good for him. Yeah, yeah. I hope he's ruddy pleased with himself. I'm on a little bit high. Des has maybe lost a little bit of zing off his fastball, although that could be down to my uh, slightly erratic aim that I've got going on. Look, I'm, I'm trying to do better. All right, Zoltan, 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 that's going. It's out of here. And the Grunt Auto Group taking full advantage of their home field advantage. And I'm going to say the word advantage again. Well, this is going to give us another look at Kojak, who has a triple, a double, two runs batted in. I remember games like that. Uh, that's why we used to like her. I guess we still like her, but I had to get rid of someone. Didn't want to get rid of Kojak. Yeah, I know. Uh, couldn't get rid of the captain. No. That would have been outrage if I got rid of Zoltan. Out! Get off the field, sis. Uh, right, here's Alfredo Singularity, the shortstop. Uh, he's one of the few players on the team that has not got a 100% batting average in this game so far. Yeah, he must suck. Because uh, seems like anybody who can even hold a bat has got... Uh, He's got some prestige against us today. That's ball two. Des, that's a bit low, mate. Just, come on. 
Yeah, see, that's that's my normal kind of throw. See, is where, where my targeting is off. But I then compensate. Send it. Urgh. No. <laughs> a half-hearted dive there from Cindy Vapid. Couldn't quite make that one work. Yeah, well, that's life. Linda Van Spackle next. And uh, she's stood there doing a shimmy. That one's gone up. Failure is running in the right area. He's wafting his arms about in a way that says, I've got this one. And if you look at the last two innings only, yeah, we're tied. If we ignore the first two innings, it's a tie ball game. Yeah, here's Cindy Vapid. Uh, she's, well, she's made her way to base a few times today. And uh, as much as we try and say, don't take the first offering, she takes it. More than that, she's got herself a double. Moot, improve. There we go. There we go. All right. Jemima Hurts up next. Uh, hoping to follow in the footsteps of Cindy, but I don't think Mr. Sop, the pitcher, is going to be around too much longer, but we'll have to wait and see. That's inside. He's uh, coming up on his 70th pitch of the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Swing early, or swing on time, or don't. That could have something. It didn't, though, did it? No, don't swing at that one either. Stop swinging, unless it's a good pitch. It's really hard to know what a good pitch looks like. Cindy will be out. It's a shame as our advanced runner there, but we only lost one batter there. I mean, you've got to, you've got to paint a positive picture on these things where you can. And here's Lynn Mephisto, who's having a bad game so far. But uh, with one good at bat, she can turn that around. Flipping, aiming for her kneecaps there. That's not on. It's gone skyward again, but Mephisto's going to be got again. And that's out number two as we return back to first base. And once again, it looks like a disappointing campaign here for Bulldozer Power, unless Ulysses' flipping failure can do something. Come on, son, do something. Do anything at all. Don't swing at that! What is the matter? Jeez, the job just... Apologies, fans of Bulldozer Power. I seem to have lost my tiny little mind. I just, I, oh, oh, I love it. This is great. This is exactly why I wanted a longer season. Exactly why I wanted a longer season because I wanted it to be a struggle without having to monkey around with a, ah, ha, 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 ha. Now the CPU will cheat. You kind of go, oh, no, I don't want a CPU to cheat. I've found the sweet spot for me of, uh, of you know in-game difficulty but well, I'm dead um, uh, but what I wanted was it to be a little bit more challenging so that I do have to keep my wits about me when playing and I can't just kind of go ah that's alright we'll go uh, we'll go Cindy Kojak and then uh, someone will get out and then Zoltan will hit a home run and we'll win the game again now I mean nothing was ever automatic but uh, but that kind of scenario did happen on a regular basis Mephisto Good, good. Here's the pitcher. They're going to take him out. They've got to take him out. They're keeping him in. Oh, well, that's a mistake. Well, look, I mean, consider how well he's batted today. Really well. Yeah. You would keep him in. I mean, he's not, he's not going to finish the game. Hell no, it's only about the fifth inning. Uh, but, you know, you keep him in. If he's playing well, let him. Oh, no. Oh, dear. You're out. All right, well, look, if you now look at the last three innings, tie ball game. Doesn't mean anything. Here's Capsicum Disco. And uh, what she got in her bag of tricks for us today, well, don't know. So we're going to have to wait and find out. As uh, Sop comes up on 80 pitches for the afternoon, I think they're going to get rid of him soon. Uh, Capskin makes a base there. And uh, here's Zoltan. Come on, Zoltan. Come on, Zoltan. Come on, Zoltan. 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 Not bad. Not bad. Okay, it's only a base hit, but Zoltan managed to get one away. And once again, we've got two runners on base. Here's Steve Murray. Okay. Come on, Steve. Everyone loves Steve Murray. Everyone. Everyone loves him. Everyone thinks he's absolutely delightful. That's why he stays in the team. Even if he gets an awful lot of his own teammates out. Ah, forces an error there, and that's going to load up the bases. 
possibly had time to make home, but we didn't. But that is bases loaded. Here's Bernadette Mistakes. This could be a double out here. That's yeah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's down. See, I would have swung at that. Yeah, I know, but you didn't take the first offer. You've taken the second offer. That's not good enough. All right, everyone back. Go. Uh, run, 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 run. Yes. Okay, that's an in. Here's Des Eyeliner. He's one of two from his at-bats this afternoon. As long as he doesn't get two people out. Yes. Then we're fine here. Des! Yeah, he gets himself out, but we're still in business. Here comes Cindy, and her mood has improved, having batted a single last time around. She's two for two this afternoon, including a double. And uh, her third at-bat resulted in a walk. Cindy! There she blows. Go again, go again, go again. That's the stuff. And bulldozer power now moving, sliding, charging. Uh, feeling it. Making it happen. And there we go. As mentioned, I would have lit this guy up for a couple of runs before they decided to chuck him out. Here's Mario Hotstepper coming in in place of Emu Sop. They should have put in a, put in a pinch hitter for him at his... Uh, Eat that. There it's out. Um, yeah, that was a good hit, though, wasn't it? Uh, well, I mean, any hit where you're out is not a good hit. All right. Grant's Auto Group. Uh, I don't know where they are in their batting order. Probably around to the top again. Uh, Cookie Peaches Wallace is going to lead the way for them. Uh, Des, how are you feeling? Des is starting to look a little bit peaky. Failure. Getting a, uh, a one pitch, one out. That's what we like. Is, uh, is Danny done it? And uh, he's playing okay as well. Des, how are you feeling? I reckon Des can make this in. Alright, okay. Alright. What's, uh, what's the litmus test? Cindy didn't dive, should have. Oh, Cindy. Shouldn't dive. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's Tommy Money. He's having a heck of an afternoon. He's got a home run. He's got a double. He's got a couple of runs batted in. He's, uh, he's feeling lively. And uh, he's unlucky that it's this early in the season because this would be the day you want to renegotiate your contract. But it's too soon for that, Danny. Too soon for that. Des, sucker him with the forky. Don't know if that'll work. Okay. Uh, where do you want to put this one? Let's have this one swing just outside. All right. How about that? Not bad. Cindy, couldn't make it. All right, Zoltan will chuck this one over to third. Look at the flipping arm on Zoltan. Well, I don't care about the arm on Zoltan. They didn't get out. Uh, here comes Kojak Mister on. Hoping to make amends for her last at bats. Nice pitch. Strike one. Okay. Yep, slide that in about there. Yes, brav. Same again. Nice. Popped up. Failure's going to have that one if he shakes a leg. Leg shaken, and uh, failure there demonstrating that Kojak has the superior arm. Well, they've advanced their runners, but that's still two outs, Sunshine. Uh, here's Alfredo Singularity, and uh, a good a good runner pitching here from Des, and this game could be on. All right, Des, I'm going to sit you after this inning, okay? But get this guy out. Do not let him homer off you. That would be a disaster. Okay, just, just that. No pressure, Des. All right, no, that's fine. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. All right, Des, this one for all the marbles. No, none of the marbles, Des. This one for pizza. All right, he's fouled it off. Des, I don't care if this takes 17 throws on your part. Just don't give up anything. All right, we want an out. Come on, Des. There it is! Des Eyeliner gets it done. And a nice piece of salvation work there from Bulldozer Power Defence. And at the end of six, it is Grant Auto Group 8, Bulldozer Power 4. And uh, if there were such a thing as momentum, then there's some momentum. And it's, uh, it's Lynn Mephisto who's up facing Mario Hotstepper. Alright, okay, no rush. We've got, to, we've got to blow this guy's arm out as well. Alright, but I mean, saying that, you see a pitch like that come in, you swing it, right? Well, yeah, you do, because you get on base. Okay, good stuff. Still waiting for the glorious return of Ulysses Failure. One wonders if this will be it. Oh, crikey. I can't, I can't even judge what we're doing. A 
Okay. All right. You should just let him stand there and strike out, you know? I mean, because at least, at least if he does that, he doesn't get anybody else out as well. If he's just going to be flipping hopeless and not live up to his stats, just let him sit there. Zoltan? Now, Zoltan. Now. Someone say Zoltan's trigger word. Someone, someone use the, uh, you, whatever the word. Oh, you almost not bagged the uh, pitcher there and that would have been good, but he didn't. All right, okay, yeah. Now right. catcher. Here comes Steve Murray. He's two or three today, both of them singles. He's batting 500 this season. Love it. Up the plate. Yeah. Okay, hot stepper. So far, he's only pitched 10 times. Uh, and it hasn't gone brilliantly for him. But uh, we've got two outs. Ball Steve could make magic here. Steve Murray. No. All right, two outs, two balls, uh, two strikes. And that's the stuff. Run, everybody. Run, 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 run. All right, stay. Could have made another one there if they'd been a little bit swifter off the mark. But that's a run for BDP. Here's Bernie Mistakes. Uh, two runs batted in. Despite being listed as 0 for 1. I think Bernie's had a rum afternoon when it comes to uh, actually getting credit for anything. But uh, hey-ho. Well, she keeps getting runs in. Don't get caught. Oh, what a shame. Um, well, I guess, hey, look, we cr we've clawed in another run, but that only counts if we keep our defences tight uh, here as we face off against Linda Van Spackle. Um, and Des, you're done for the day, man. Des Eyeliner, everybody, he's played okay. He's managed to pull himself back out of the grave that he's been sitting in. Uh, who do we like? Jeff Conservative. He's tired. Oh, Diz. He's tired as well. How do you know? He looks like he might be. All right. Jeff is definitely tired. Yeah. Mark is, is in better shape. Yeah. Tulip's a mess. Right. Flight risk's a mess. All right. Okay. We'll go uh, We'll go Disneyland, and then uh, and then we'll go Jeff if we need another replacement. All right. It's Mark Disneyland, everybody. You know his name. You've seen him play. And uh, and as yet, he has yet to, uh, to really make a reputation for himself on the team. Other than being reasonably solid. Now, reasonably solid is fine. What we need here, though, is a heroic effort. An, an heroic effort. Apologies, grammar. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to... Absolutely. How are you feeling about that, Mark? Mark feels it. It's a bit high. But it was sinking. You could, you could feel a twitch. You could feel her go like, Oh, I should have, probably have a go at that. She's like disgusted. She kind of goes, that was completely off target. What are you playing at? And Mark just goes, I don't know. See, I throw these things. I've no idea where they're going to land. Uh, right. So that will bring up Vertex Cabal, uh, who hasn't had a name check yet this afternoon. So let's do that now. It's Vertex Cabal, the center fielder. And he sent that one out to his stomping ground. Zoltan with the dive, but it hits the wall. Zoltan, I think, might have a concussion off the back of that one. Uh, it was the right. It was the right move, but we've given up a triple. Sometimes these things happen. Uh, Margaret Ann Sprinkles up next. She's tense because she's not played well, and she's starting to so show the occasional sign of fatigue. But uh, only in the same way that all catchers show the signs of fatigue, uh, given how much they spend of the afternoon squatting before bouncing up, before squatting, before bouncing up, before squatting, and then. Bouncing up and then squatting and then talking to their pitcher on the mound about how they should shut up and do the pitches that have been sent in. Change up. No, no didn't go for it. Right. Come on, Mark. Put this one away. Mark's trying to put it away. No. Mistakes. No. And that's going to be a run. Ah, pity. Yep. Yep. Pity. Pity. Here's, uh, here's the pitcher, Mario Hot Stepper. One out, runner at first. And uh, as yet, we're not looking lively. You know, if this, this Charlie wants to bunt, let him. All right, just yeah, just chuck any old business down there. If he's if he's feeling stupid enough to be bunting, I'll take the free out. Thanks. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, free out. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's Peaches Wallace again. 
Now we've we've said a lot of things about Cookie Peaches Wallace, but what we haven't said is that she's only one of four. Uh, Disneyland is tired. Breaking news. Mark Disneyland is tired. The only reason that he was looking in any way lively uh, was because he has clearly had a halfway decent performance of late. Oh, swish. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. Look, we're in, a, we're in the bottom of the seventh. All right. If, if, uh, if you can clear this one up and uh, do a moderate clear up on the next one, we can bring in conservative in the ninth. If we have to bat, if we have to pitch in the ninth, which, as it stands right now, we don't. That one's got Skywoods. Uh, Caps comes there underneath. And how's that? All right. Okay. Well, one to one the score there. And once again, if you were to go back to the third inning uh, onwards, BDP are up by three. Yeah? Huh? Yeah. Anyway, as it stands, that's not the case. And uh, Grunt Auto Group, nine. Ball goes of power, five. And here's Mark Disneyland having a bat, possibly. Yeah! No. That's a shame. That would have been lovely. Is Cindy vapid? Well, she came into this one with her confidence lacking. But her performance today has been anything other than lacking in confidence. Uh, she's had a storming afternoon, but it hasn't turned into the kind of points that we like. That said, five runs. I don't mind five runs. Five runs is pretty good. That's ball three. And there she goes again. Second walk of the afternoon for Cindy. Good, 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 good. Here's Jemima Hertz. Jemima Hertz is, uh, is still waiting to live up to her full potential. One of four today. Uh, she likes it outside in the pitching zone. That's terrible. Oh. Yeah, I know I took the first offer. Yeah, I know I did, but it looked great. Just didn't make the great, the greatest of connections. All right, here we go. Eighth, uh, bottom of the eighth, and uh, here's Danny Diet. And uh, Disneyland's not looking completely great, but he might have enough. Hurts, catch, out, sit down. Here's Thomas Money, and uh, he's uh, he's having a nice day as well. Yeah, well, you see, they all, they all did well while, uh, while I was uncertain as to what the heck was going on in the first two innings. Uh, while I was, I was busy speculating about maybe the game's got it in for them. Strikeout, Mark Disney. Boom! Here's Kojak Mister on. Uh, got a 500 batting average so far in the game. And that's not going any further here. Cindy retrieves, and that's out number three. That was very, very quick, but now it falls to our batters. We have three outs to pull back four or more runs. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's not very flipping likely. But that's a good way to get things started as Mephisto makes her way to base number one. All right. Okay. He's failing. 0 for 4. 0 for 4. Are you kidding me? 0 for 4 failure. It's, uh, and he's done, a, I think that's the third one of those he's done today. You know what? What? I'm going to sit him. Yeah, I'm going to sit him. In the next game, he's going to sit. And then I'm going to change his position in the batting order. This is usually how you shake people. Oh, come on. That's uncalled for. We're already losing. Here's Zoltan, who's having a great day. Disco has got a bruised shoulder. Oh, that's just despicable. All right, Zoltan. Kill them. That's not killing them, Zoltan. Oh, flipping stupid baseball. All those power lose. Another one. Uh, after a spirited comeback, it has to be said. Um, number of hits at the end of the game were pretty level, but uh, the damage was all done early on, and uh, Grunt Auto Group come away with another win. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Strikeouts across the board, though. Uh, six for Dez and two for Mark Disneyland. But Dez had such a bad start, uh, and it wasn't so much. There's Cindy in the top three players. Hey. Wasn't so much that Dez wasn't playing well. It was more that they were just hitting it to the worst places possible when it comes to any kind of defense. Right, we've got a minimum of 10 games to get through, uh, so let's... I'm going to press the rapid fire button already. Okay, if you're, tra if you're tracking scores, stay... Keep your... Don't blink. There we go. 
uh, of City X-Men, Picks Creek Miners. Miners, three to one victory there. Uh, in Lingo Blend All-Stars, big early lead, and they beat the Pirates. Uh, sea Raiders against the Pathfinders, close. Sea Raiders win. Uh, Medics taking on Stardozer, and the Medics beat the Stardozer team easily. Colonel Skull against Grazer Ridge. It's gone to extra innings, but Grazer Ridge clean it up eventually. Failurewood Hills against the Sportsball Union, and the Sportsball Union are just racking up the numbers. Failurewood try and come back, but no good. The Nomads are taking on the Space Agency. Space Agency coming from behind and win it eventually. Colonel Skull against Peninsula Transport, and uh, the Colonel Skull are off to a good lead, but Peninsula Transport trying to come back. It didn't work. Sunshine Fun Bus against Failurewood Hills. The Fun Bus, holy mackerel, 12 to 2, the final score. The Chroniclers are taking on Cheerio Incorporated, and this one looked close early on, but the Chroniclers end up winning that 8 to 2. Which means here's our next game, and uh, it's a rematch against the Grunt Auto Group. Here we go, brace yourselves. Bubbly merchandise, our pitcher. Would you like to simulate your next game? Yeah, I would. Here we go. Bordeaux's Pat, big lead to start off. 4 to 2. The final score, we get our first win of the season, and I had nothing to do with it. I don't care. <laughs> we. Don't, we, don't, we we got our first win of the season. That's important. All right, 12 more games, and then we'll have a look at the scoreboards. Uh, and it's Grazer Ridge against the Beekeepers. Grazer Ridge off to a good lead, and they win that 7-3. Off City against the Miners in the second game. And uh, this time around, Off City managed to win that 8-4. Another rematch. Pirates. All-Stars. Uh, All-Stars started strong, but the Pirates came back stronger. Steganauts are taking on the budget roadies. The roadies look good here. 9-2 to two, the final score. Sea Raiders, Pathfinders in a rematch. And the Sea Raiders came to play. 16-0 the final score. Stardos are human resources against the Minstrels. Minstrels lose that 4-1. to one. Uh, The Nomads are taking on the Colonel Space Agency. They win that 4-1. to one. Budget roadies against the Bumps and Medics. And this one's a close one, but the Medics snatch it in the ninth. Sportsball Union against the Erg Mellon Flex Chroniclers. Not a lot of action. 3 to 2 Chroniclers. Colonel School. Peninsula Transport. Colonel School. Win. Sunshine Fun Bus. Rematch. Failurewood Hills. Failurewood Hills coming from 5 nothing down. Managed to pill that down. One. Beekeepers against the Off City X Men. And the Off City X Men win that. Whoo! Six games played in the season so far. Well, for us, anyway. Some teams have played more than that. Others may have played less. Doesn't really matter. It's, that's a summary point. In the Woodchipper Division, it's the Grazer Ridge team that are leading the way 5-1. to one, Their current, uh, you know, results, score, whatever you like. Uh, but uh, only a game and a half back is Colonel School, who, thanks to playing against me, are up 24 in the run differences. Wow. Yeah. At the bottom end, you've got the Nomads and Port Megan's Pirates both on turn four, but it's very, very early in the season. In the Bombastic, it is the Grunt Auto Group leading the way on plus two run difference, four and two, their record. Then you've got four whole teams with three wins, followed by Bulldozer of Power, who are three games out of first, with a minus 40 run difference. Got to fix that, I think. We've got we to gotta claw that one back in over this 48-game season. Over into Bad Company and in the Whoop Whoop Division, it is the Sunshine Fun Bus and Ugg Melonflex Chroniclers out in the lead with the Pathfinders on 1 and 5 at the bottom end of the league. Sloganator and it is the Minstrels out in first, but they dropped their first game of the year. 5 and 1, their record now. Uh, they still look pretty strong though, plus 21 run difference. The Beekeepers, who not so long ago were a uh, championship team and now 1 and 6, are they going to come back? I don't know. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to keep up with this season. And I'll be here with another game that you can watch and they feast on soon enough. Cheerio.